Our tale begins here, in the quiet fishing village of East Haven, one of the so-called Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashire. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomab's Emporium. Uh, Pomab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite, but you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Yes? How can I help? Your mind. It shall be done. How can I help? Very well. Your time Your is life me. is forfeit. Let's go! Let's go! Our let's best. go! Yes, forward. At once. Speak your mind. How can it shall be done? Of course. Yeah, sounds good. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Your command? It shall be done. Yes, very well. Yeah, sounds good. Speak your mind. How can I help forward? Huh? Your command? Very well. Yes, at once. Speak your agreed. Of course. Speak your mouth forward. At once. I'll take care. I'll take it. Ready and willing. Your command agreed. Very well. Yes. Speak your mind forward. Very well. Do you need very well? How can I help? Your command? It shall be done. Forward. Yes? Very well. Agreed. Speak your it shall be done. How can I help at once? 
forward. It shall be done. Onward. your mind. It shall be done. Very well. It shall be done. Forward. Hello. How can I at once? Of course. Command forward, of course. At once. Rothgar mentioned there were strangers in town. What is it you want? Yes, I am Everard. Everard of Tempus, battle priest of the Lord of Battles. What brings you here? Jared was a shaman who lived long ago. He brought unity to the northern tribes and led them to victory against the army of Arakan at the cost of his life. 
Once Arakan saw his army routed by Jared and the northern tribes, he sought to bring the Hells to his aid. Arakan opened a gate to the lower plains. I do not believe that. Jared did. It is said that Tempus himself appeared to Jared upon the battlefield, and Jared took that as a sign. Jared believed Tempus was calling him to sacrifice himself for his people to ensure victory. And so he cast his body into the portal, his blood fusing it to stone. It lies entombed beneath the temple to this day. Jared had no need to sacrifice himself. Tempus's appearance was a test of faith, proof Jared's people had already won the field that day. Jared failed his god and died a coward's death. One dies for Tempus with a blade in one's hand, not by martyring oneself within the embrace of infernal magics. Jared's duty was to stand with his comrades, not cast himself to his death when the field was already theirs. Sacrifice? Let me say this of sacrifice, young one. Then we shall speak of this no more. Sacrifice is a death that has meaning. When it is in vain, it is not sacrifice. It is a waste. That is the lesson of Jared's stone. I, a great stone disc that holds Jared's corpse for eternity. And so I watch and guard it in Tempest's name. You are free to ask, Traveler. I promise no answers. These eyes have seen battle, yes. And my skin bears the mark of swords and axes. That was long ago. Now my place is here. Because there are many ways one may serve one's god. I am of the Order of the Broken Blade. My duty is to watch this place. Yes, we are were warriors. Wounded in battle, our injuries now keep us far from the front lines. Still, we are fit to guard holy sites to our lord. It is sacred to Tempus, yes. It marks the field where the barbarian Jared gave up his life ages ago. He lies encased in stone beneath this temple. You are free to ask, traveler. I promise no answers. I have heard of it, yes. A messenger from Kaldahar visited the temple not long ago, and it has spurred Hrothgar to see what is happening in the north. Yes, a man from Kaldahar found his way to our door, and he was dead by morning. He claimed he was a messenger from the Archdruid of Kaldahar. The man spoke of disturbances in Kaldahar. His wounds prevented me from making any sense of his words. Perhaps Hrothgar understood more than I, for he's preparing an expedition. No, for my place is here. Were I invited, I would still not go. My injuries would only slow the expedition. You are free to ask, traveler. I promise no answers. The door leads beneath the temple to the site of Jared's stone. You are free to ask, traveler. I promise no answers. Yes? Agreed. Agreed. Tell me. Speak your mind. Agreed. It shall be done very well. It shall be done. Mm -hmm. Good. Your command? Forward. Uh, whoops. God's strength.
Yes? Onward. Speak your mind at once. Of course. How can I help? Your command forward. your mind. How can I help? At once. Whatever you need. Speak your mind at once. Huh? 
Sounds good. Well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have... sentimental value. Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. Well, semi-retired, actually. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. I have had plenty of opportunities in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you can help. Poma, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Kaer Dineval is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally I take Pomop's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershaw, between East Haven and Caer Dineval. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. Yes? Forward. It shall be done. Speak your mind. How your guess? Name your task. Yes? Onward. May the gods have mercy on you. I'll try to keep this short.
ready. Speak your mind. Let that meat die! Ah! Speak your mind. Yes. How can I help? Ah! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Your command? Yes? Hmm? Something amiss? Yes. What's up? You want me? Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Oops. How can I help you? I'll take care of it. Your command? Yes, very well. Your time is really strong. Take that! It's my seal! Mercy on you. Take Speak that! How can I help? Your command? Can I help? Of course.
your command very well. It shall be done. Can I help? How can I help? Agreed. Very well. It shall be done. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> 